Hello Physical Fiends, how you doing? It's Jordan here with another Physical Discounts video. A few games I've seen for decent prices recently for all consoles and links are down below in the description and pinned comment if you want to purchase and support me at the same time. I greatly appreciate it ever so much. First, let's start with Video Games Plus who have free worldwide shipping if you purchase anything over 80 Canadian dollars, which is about 60 American dollars. And the prices I mentioned here will all be US dollars. So when you click on their website via the links below, maybe it will look different at first, but I promise you the conversion is correct. Let's jump in. World of Final Fantasy Maxima, specifically the Xbox One edition, is just 7 US dollars. Now the Xbox isn't known for having many RPGs, especially JRPGs, and I think this is such a great deal. 7 dollars for one of the better Final Fantasies of that era. It was more traditional, but has some unique things to it, like collecting characters, kind of like Pokemon, and the production is great. I do advise picking this up if you don't already have it on other consoles. Baton Kytus 1 and 2 is 37 US dollars, which doesn't sound cheap, but I think it's a good price for something that would be otherwise be like $50 or something. This is the European edition at VGP. Remember, North America did not officially get this game physically. Some people imported the Asian or Japanese edition or this European one. Either way, it's a good price for two cult classic JRPGs that were GameCube exclusives back in the day. Sea of Stars is down to 29 US dollars on Switch and Xbox. Again, not a huge sale or something you'd instantly label as a bargain, but it's 10 bucks cheaper than you'd find elsewhere. This is an RPG inspired by the Super Nintendo classics of the era, and they did a really great job in terms of visuals and mechanics. I have heard criticisms of the story and characters, but your mileage may vary depending on your tastes. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is just 22 US dollars on PS5. PS4, Switch and Xbox, which is a great deal and one that's expected thanks to Ubisoft's predictability in slashing prices not too long after release. Apparently Ubisoft feel that this game did not meet sales expectations. Of course, people have been waiting for this exact moment. Plus, you know, I think half a million sales is good for a side-scrolling action game in a series that had a complete genre shift from what, you know, modern gamers are used to. Maybe they expected too much. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is also 22 US dollars on Switch, Xbox and PlayStation 5. Another great deal in my opinion. I've talked about this before and probably for around the same price, but now is another chance of picking it up. It's a great love letter to Jet Set Radio or Jet Grind Radio depending on where you live. Nexum on Complete Collection is 22 US dollars on Nintendo Switch and 18 dollars on PlayStation 4. Again, absolutely fantastic bargain for two really great monster catching RPGs. These are games that many people love and say are way better than the modern Pokemon games because they give fans exactly what they want. Really can't say no to this one. Pickleball Smash is maybe one you can say no to. I'm mentioning this not because it's a quality game, but it's an obscure one that collectors may not have heard of before. And you know, being $15, that's a sweet spot to add something this random to the collection. This is on Switch and PlayStation 4. Looks shite to be honest. Uh, I don't even know what pickleball is. Persona 3 Reload is gradually coming down in price. VGP have got this on PS4 and PS5 standard editions for 37 US dollars, which is starting to get tempting. I know many will be waiting for something bigger, but uh, yeah, it's good to see it not be $70. They also have the collector's edition on PlayStation 5 discounted to $170, but I struggle to call that a bargain. Still quite a lot cheaper than it was. Okay, let's move on to Red Art Games. RedArtGames.com, in order to celebrate French Day or something, they have a discount on a handful of titles, not like they often do with their whole catalogue, but you know, the I think these games were specifically made in France, so that's why there's only 22 like choices. And also, I don't think you can use my code SWATCH10 to get 10% off. You can try, but usually they switch it off for these sort of things. Anyways, uh, just a couple of choices. As far as the eye has 50% off, 
bringing the standard edition down to just 15 euros. I haven't played this one, but uh, it looks fairly unique, maybe a bit like Populous or, you know, Civilization, but with roguelike elements. Supposedly simple, but enjoyable. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea. The Collector's Edition is also discounted to 40 euros, and that comes with a vinyl. Neurovoida is also 15 euros, and that's a fantastic prize for a twin stick shooter RPG. That's very good indeed. It's got a cyberpunk feeling to it and, you know, great action. It was one of their earlier titles and remains one of their best ones. I think they've moved up in the world recently, what with like Macross, Square Enix partnership, Broken Sword. But going back to their roots, this one really stands out. Promenade only has a 30% discount, bringing it down to 24 euros, which doesn't sound like a huge discount. It's not, but I think it's a really wonderful game. Honestly, it's beautiful. It's a fun platformer. Reminds me of Donkey Kong Country if it was mixed in with a Collectathon 3D platformer. So basically, I'm saying DK64, but on a 2D plane. And it's really great. Trust me, all the additions are 24 euros. You can check all the discounts with the link below, uh, but as I said, they only have 22 in total. These three are just my personal highlights, but you know, check everything out with the links below in the description. All right, let's move on to Play Asia. Yes, if you want to purchase any of these, check out the Play Asia links. And with these, you may also be able to get an extra 5% off with my code Jordan24. Now, there's only one import exclusive I'm going to talk about, but I'm also going to mention some Western games because I just think they have good prices that maybe you didn't think of buying Western releases from Play Asia. But for these prices, something to think about, especially if you get free shipping, which is over 100 US dollars. Bukanyar, I don't know how to say it, I never know how to say it. I, I made a community post about this one, which you may have seen, but for $18 for this import exclusive, it's kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I've often said that this is a game that's never been cheap. It's always been like $50 or whatever, so it's been left as a very obscure import exclusive. It's a unique game with ship battles, but with anime babes instead of like Kevin Costner. I enjoyed it. This import exclusive does have English, but you know, be warned, it's, it's pretty bad English. Still fine enough to play and, you know, get to know the story, but it was done on the cheap, that, let's just say that. Killer Queen Black is $12 on Play Asia for a European version of the game. I think by this point, that's a really great price and yeah, it's difficult to say no to if you're a collector. Now, I know the developers sort of given up on this game. The online is dead and the game has been delisted from the eShop, so the physical is the only way to get it. But now that there's no online, only local play is eligible, which really neuters the experience, but you know, it's literally the only way to get it, and if you're a collector, it's a good price. Curved Space is $13 for a brand new North American copy on PlayAsia. This is not a revolutionary game, and it was a budgeted $20 release out of the gate, so there's not much room for leeway with the discounts here, but $13 to fill out your collection with a unique game? That's all right. Jitsu Squad, the European version is $16 at Play Asia, and this is for the retail release, not Strictly Limited's release, which I don't think they've even sent out yet, actually. But uh, yeah, the ESRB version, brand new, is double this price, so if not more. So it's a good way to pick up this crazy looking beat em up, as long as you don't mind the European version in your collection. Lost Sphere is $20 on Play Asia if you purchase the South Korean version. I know the game may have been cheaper than that in the past when they were trying to like get rid of stock, but the Western version, especially the ESRB version, has drastically gone up in price. So this South Korean version, which plays in English, is a decent option. And finally, something a bit different, it's a discounted console. Okay, not discounted much. I think it's worth looking into though, because, you know, for a pre-order, I'm not sure you can find it cheaper elsewhere, nor with free shipping. But yeah, Play Asia have the US Hyrule edition of the Switch Lite for pre-orders for $1.99, and that's shipped worldwide for free. Now, depending on where you live, you may have to pay like customs tax or VAT, you know, on top of that. But I think for Americans, this is a really decent opportunity to get a cheaper option on a beautiful looking console. I was considering buying this for my daughter for like Christmas, like, you know, well in advance. But 
I know she'd complain that she can't play on the big TV. She's not a handheld gal, but, you know, if your kid is into that and you want to shut him up in a car ride, I think it's a good price for a gorgeous system. It's gold, goddammit. And there we have it, a few discounts that have really caught my eye. What about you? Will you be picking up any of these? If you want to, please do consider using the links in the description and the pinned comment. That is the best way to support this channel, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and yeah, take care.